Our next guest is a highly regarded expert known for his fluent knowledge and vision in the ever-changing world of orthopedics, joint replacement, and sports medicine. Joining me now is Dr. Sidney Pardino of Cutting Edge Orthopedics to shed some light on shoulder impingement. How are you? Good, Brian. How are you? Well, it's been a while. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Good to see you. Impingement. What is that? So that is a generic term of array of conditions that we use to describe shoulder pain, which okay. you know is the second most common cause of musculoskeletal pain, okay. second to back pain. Basically anything as tendonitis, which is inflammation of the tendons, it could be bursitis, burs a bursa, people ask, what is a bursa? Mm -hmm. A bursa is like a sac of fluid that's underneath the shoulder, shoulder blade and it basically lubricates the, the, the surface of the shoulder okay. so you can have smooth movement. You could have uh, a sprain that leads to weakness and then it causes abnormal mechanics of your shoulder. So all those conditions combined, we term that shoulder impingement. I see, okay. And so who is at risk for this? So two big populations, your overhead athletes, so your swimmers, yeah. baseball players, volleyball players, baseball players, and then your middle age group. As we get older, mm -hmm. our tissues are more susceptible to injury. If you're a physical laborer, for example, a construction worker, a painter, and if that repetitive, even surgeons, yeah. that repetitive motion of what you do will lead to wear and tear and chronic inflammation. So those are the two big populations that Well, work. just thinking about painting up and down, arms Constantly. up and down. Constantly. Yeah. The years and years of painting will lead to this, those issues. I know. I throw the, the ball for my dog for two minutes and I'm already feeling <laughs> like I need some sort of surgery. So how was this diagnosed? So that's where you need uh, a medical expert, right? Um, primary care doctor or orthopedic surgeon basically you go through a medical interview. So I'm going to ask you, what kind of symptoms are you having? Mm -hmm. Commonly people start with uh, soreness in the shoulder, they notice that the pain is in the front, it radiates to the side of the arm, they notice that they have pain at rest and with certain movements, especially overhead. Um, and then they, you know, most people won't seek treatment for that, they'll just do some, they'll rest, they'll ice it, they'll put heat, mm -hmm. they'll take something over the counter. But as those things progress, then you start to have pain at night, mm -hmm. you start to get weakness, you start to lose your mobility. Yeah. That's when patients usually come in to okay. get figured out. When it's unbearable. When it gets unbearable. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about treatment. What are some treatment options? So first thing I do is once they're in the office and I've done the interview, um, I won't, always going to get x-rays just to make sure that there's nothing else going on. It could be a simple break. It could be arthritis. And, and so we want to make sure it's not a bone issue. Once mm -hmm. I know it's not a bone problem, then we can focus on the soft tissue. And so the treatment is usually very simple. 90% of people will get better with just figuring out what is it that you do and then what are you doing to aggravate this condition. Once we figure that out, we rest you, we modify your activity, we put you in an anti-inflammatory like a liver Motrin and usually get you into physical therapy because it's all about once your shoulder gets weak, it actually makes the problem worse because it changes the mechanics of the shoulder. Ah. And so the problem is fixing the mechanics so you're, not, you're no longer impingement. As you're moving your shoulder up, you're hitting the roof of your shoulder and you're crushing your rotator cuff in between. I see. And so that's, the, but that's probably the biggest treatment. The other thing that we do as it gets more severe, cortisone shots. I'm sure you heard about that. Oh, yes. Uh, and they work great. Mm -hmm. And this treatment will help 90% of the people. The ones that don't get better are usually the ones that have tears, and that's when MRI will come into play. Okay. So cortisone can, is, can help? Significantly. Wow. Significantly. All right, folks. Well, you can find Cutting Edge Orthopedics in Palm Desert. Check out their website at cuttingedgeortho.net or give them a ring. A big thanks to Dr. Sidney Pardino for being here, and uh, we'll see you in just a couple of minutes. Perfect.